The title of the book is actually named by Komal Tai herself, and I have to give her credit. It was actually one chapter. The Boy Who Did Not Sign was actually one chapter. I think it was the 11th chapter, right after the rebellion part. And that's another thing. Like It's not just a guy who is going and cracking examinations, right? It's a guy who finds himself in tough, tough relationship dynamics. He, he is like attracted to a girl and because of that he sees the politics and the groupism of what goes on with a, which a lot of you guys might have faced and that is why I'm saying that a lot of you guys will be able to relate to this book and then he faces something that almost nobody has faced before and that is he being a 23 year old guy stands up against a 60 year old system and that is monumental and crazy to think about it. And that's where he actually gets the name, The Boy Who Did Not Sign. Uh, it's not very uh, difficult to find out because it's actually in the prologue. So the first four to five pages you read, it actually starts with something that will happen in the 10th chapter. So it, it hap- the event is 12th of June, 2018, right? Yes. And there's an event on which the book is titled, The Boy Who Did Not, did not Sign. And then it goes back. It goes back to somewhere around like 9th of June 2017 when he's like preparing to crack the interview, which is like one of the most difficult interview of the country. It is an hour long, more than that long interview. And he's coming out with a rank of 1800 uh, 1800 in gate examination, does not get any calls from any of the companies, does not get any admission for any master's. And he says that I'm going to crack the most difficult interview of this country. And and nobody believes in him, right? He's unemployed. He's like a spectacular student through his undergraduate, but decides to overlook any kind of mediocre job and stays one year in Delhi and decides I'm going to become a scientist in Israel. Fails in gate, fails in Israel and says that, okay, I need a job. I'm going to crack the most difficult interview of this country. And he goes out there and that's the first chapter. Right. So, so along with like the dream, passion, the hustle, there is going to be romance as well, right? Not really. Like it is, it is not really a romantic book. But there would be a girl. Right? There would be a girl, yeah. right? There would be a girl, and uh, I don't want to disclose yeah, what happens. Yeah, but they, like right? just to like st- like just to describe. Yeah, say, I, like, I don't think there's any person in there this would world. be instances. Right. There, there, I don't think there's any pers- person in this world who's not stuck in some kind of relationship dynamics, right? There's there's something or the other because that's like the primary uh, reflex of a human being, right? And and so the same goes with Ashwin Taksh, right? There is a girl and I do not want to say anything more than that. Yeah. But the girl is going to be over there in the first chapter itself. Okay, so... Speaking of a girl, there was a like there was a, a question that mm-hmm. am I going to be there in the book or not? Well, you'll never know until you read it. <laughs> well, I think what you're asking is that is there going to be a character inspired by Komal Taya, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because basically. there are no real characters in that book. It's a fictional book, right? Yeah, but like yeah, it's just inspired right. By like, like you will say that Ashwin Taksh is in, inspired. F- from me and you'll say that is there a character which is inspired from Komal and you'll never know until you read the book. <laughs>